so we are starting here the fourth topic vector calculus weightage of the topic is 12 marks so if we see uh, the articles that we are going to learn in a vector calculus hardly we have five articles first one is a very simple which one is a velocity acceleration second article is a curvature and a torsion then the remaining three are the most important articles generally the questions are always coming on that three articles known as gradient divergence and curl so these are the five articles that we have in a vector calculus so as compared to integral calculus this topic is a very small topic and it have near about equal weightage of integral calculus so we'll start this vector calculus the first article that we are going to finish it today velocity and acceleration so let me come to the definitions of velocity and the acceleration it is one of the simple article you already learned this velocity and acceleration in the uh, school days but it is about linear motion now we are going to learn the velocity and acceleration for non linear motion that is the motion on the curve so throughout the topic throughout the topic uh, vector calculus we are going to take uh, the position vector r bar and what is that position vector r bar actually it decides the position of a moving particle so let i draw the curve suppose here we have some curve curve c okay and here is some origin uh, origin of that xy plane the particle is moving on this curve say from point a to the point b point a to point b so at any instant let we assume the position of that particle is p p is the position of a particle and let we say the coordinates of that point p are x y and z so what will be the position vector op yes anyone what is the position vector op Sir, sir, xi, 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 xi,
depending on the question, if numerical comes, find a tangent vector, just to write t bar is equal to dr bar by dt. And if the question is find the velocity vector, we should say v bar is equal to dr bar by dt. So both are the same thing because velocity is always along a tangent to the curve. Okay. So here I am seeing about a vector. Okay. So actually tangent is a different, it is a line actually, but we are calculating here tangent vector. So tangent vector and the velocity vector are the same. That is a simple words I am saying. The next part, if we want the acceleration now, the acceleration is obviously the rate of change of velocity. So a bar is a dv bar by dt, but we already know v bar is a dr bar by dt. So the formula can be taken as a d2r bar by dt square is acceleration or simply dv bar by dt is a acceleration there. Is there, uh, or I will ask, uh, what is the direction of acceleration? Is it along some fixed direction? It will be along the direction. Towards the center. Okay. If you, if you are saying towards the center, in any other uh, answer? Sir, in the direction of tangent. In the direction of a tangent again. So velocity is along a tangent, acceleration is also along a tangent. Okay, good. Uh, any other answer other than these two? The someone said towards origin, the other says along a tangent. Sir, acceleration has two directions, the radial and tangential. Okay, radial and? Tangential. Tangential. Okay, so generally it is uh, known as a radial and transverse, radial and transverse acceleration or uh, it is known as a tangential and normal acceleration. Okay, so that way we can divide actually acceleration into component. So the most important thing that you should know, acceleration does not have a fixed direction. Acceleration does not have a fixed direction. It depends on the nature of path. If you change the path, the direction of acceleration changes or on some random path, it may happen that the acceleration may vary the acceleration may vary at each point. The direction of acceleration may vary at each point. We'll come to the example. It becomes more clear. Actually, these directions are not required anywhere in solving the example. It is just for your understanding. Uh, what about that directions of tangent and accelerations are there? Anyone knows what is the rate of change of acceleration? Jerk. Yes, it is a jerk. So, yes, there are exists the higher differentiation, the successive differentiation of R bar have some physical quantities like velocity, then acceleration, then jerk, rate of change of jerk is also exist there. So, and rate of, okay, that uh, again, if you differentiate, you will get new thing there. And they have some meaning there. So, we will not go in the detail because we are only interested in these two, tangent and acceleration. So, let I show you some <clears throat> standard curves and the directions of acceleration. <coughs> so here, if you see, the first thing that we have, uh, whatever the equations that, whatever the equation of a curve, the particle is moving on the curve, we are saying, so particle moves on the curve and the position vector is given as r bar, r bar is equal to xi plus yz plus zk. Now in this case, we are taking the curve in two dimensional only. Right now we are focusing on 2D curves. So I am not writing plus zk because z is a 0. z is a 0. So I am written the position vector r bar is xi plus yz. Now if we take x equal to sin t and y equal to cos t, it become x square plus y square equal to 1. That is the equation of a circle. So you should know the parametric form of the circle. x square plus y square equal to 1. Which is x is cos t, y is sin t. That also you can take it. So here it is reverse written. But generally the x r bar is a cos t i plus sin t j. So this is the position vector of the position vector of a moving particle. Position vector of a moving particle on a circle. So, uh, just a minute. So, let me take that only. So, that uh, it will still remain circle. Is that?
So here is uh, the circle where x is cos t, y is a sin t, and this is the circle. Now let me see. Let me see here. Uh, velocity vector. The velocity vector is this one. So you'll see the position vector first. The position vector is from b to a. B a is a position vector. The particle is at a here. Okay. Uh, so this is velocity vector v. Let I uh, show you a tangent line. Okay, tangent line. Actually, velocity vector and tangent vector are same. So this is a tangent line. The dotted purple line. This is the equation of the tangent line. The dotted purple line is a tangent line. And lastly, I will show you the acceleration. The acceleration is now in a black color from A to B. From A to B. It is a towards origin. Now let let I animate this so that you will come to know how. Uh, so you will see. Just I will pause it now. So this is at at this position. Now particle is at this position at point C. And you will observe this is the purple color that is a tangent vector or velocity vector this black color uh, in in the black color that you will have the acceleration vector which is towards origin and actually o to c oc is the position vector r bar is that clear is that clear yes sir you will see yes sir acceleration have a fixed direction acceleration have a fixed direction only when you the particle is moving on a circular path so those who given the answer that acceleration is a towards origin, yes, you are correct. But only the path, you shouldn't say that if it is moving on a circular path. Otherwise, not necessary that acceleration is a towards origin. Okay. Now, uh, let me come to another curve here. So, <coughs> so uh, let me take the curve uh, as now... I will say the hyperbolic curve. Uh, some of you, uh, x is cos hyperbolic t, y is a sine hyperbolic t, and that's the equation of hyperbola x square minus y square equal to 1. Now, this is a new curve for you, probably new function you are learning. When I say cos ht, sorry, cos ht, this is a h is not a constant, just like we say cos t, it is a cos ht means cos hyperbolic t. Okay, cos of hyperbolic t, similar thing. I am writing here sine hyperbolic t, sine hyperbolic t, and now you will get the curve. You will get the curve of this. Is actually, graph of a cos hyperbolic t. If uh, we are uh, taking uh, actually uh, it is along x-axis, but general cos hyperbolic t is upside here on y-axis there. Okay, we'll go to that. So here the graph of hyperbola is uh, came here. I will uh, tell you why this is the hyperbola. First of all. Uh, we have x is cos ht, y is a sin ht, and we have the equation x square minus y square is equal to 1, and that is the equation of hyperbola. So, this cos h square t minus sin h square t is always coming as 1. Now, which are the things you have to remember? You have to just remember the derivatives of cos hyperbolic t and sin hyperbolic t. I will tell you the both derivatives are positive. Like, derivative of cos hyperbolic t is plus sin hyperbolic t, and derivative of sine hyperbolic t is a plus cos hyperbolic t. That is a new set of a formula you should remember. Otherwise, no need to go in the detail of a hyperbolic function. So just you should know uh, there are Euler's definition for hyperbolic functions. You, if you want, you can go in the detail there. Right now, uh, here is a hyperbola. So this is the hyperbola graph is here. So this is the hyperbola graph that you have. So actually, only upper branch is drawn there. Upper branch is drawn because of that t limitation okay uh, this is a uh, animated for some particular time so because of that you may observe that thing now here again here again uh, the purple line will be the tangent line the in purple color you will get a velocity vector and then you will get acceleration vector so let i animate it you will come to know what is the direction of acceleration yes anyone can you tell me what should be the direction of acceleration here What will be the direction of acceleration? Already I told the direction of velocity is a fix. It's along tangent. But uh, here we, we are considered the particular curve as a hyperbola. And what will be the direction of acceleration? So towards, towards the x-axis. Towards? Towards x-axis. No, not correct. So towards focus. Towards? 
focus of the hyperbola no i will show, uh, animate it let you see and tell me now okay what happened actually the time came we should have from zero now the particle is here the particle is on x axis there of a hyperbola so you'll observe the tangent is in purple color there and the acceleration vector can you observe the acceleration vector in black color in which direction is that x direction this one okay this is the acceleration vector this is along x axis x axis actually, actually you'll observe when particle when particle is at point a when particle is at point a this is the position vector r bar this is r bar this is velocity vector v bar and this is the acceleration vector a bar so what you can say about acceleration vector when um, the particle is moving on hyperbola actually the acceleration is always away from origin away from origin so or in the direction of radial only just like in circular path in circular path acceleration is only along the radial direction but it is towards origin on hyperbola it is exactly opposite that we have the acceleration is again along a radial but it is away from origin okay hyperbola away from origin circle towards origin so let me animate this so you will observe the direction of acceleration the acceleration always go away from origin like that okay so uh, that about that about uh, the hyperbolic path but uh, as already we seen that uh, what happens in a random path in the random path you will observe uh, some of you may have the problem that you may think what is acceleration at some other point let i show you at one more point suppose the particle suppose the particle is when at this position suppose the particle has this position say p okay then r bar will be like this okay this is r bar vector at that time the acceleration vector will be like this this is a bar vector and this time the tangent vector will be like this this is a t bar vector or v bar vector okay that way so uh, that is the position so actually this r bar and a bar are in the same direction but it is away from origin that way so this is for hyperbola so whenever you draw r bar along that r bar only you will get a bar there for hyperbola now uh, let i take some random curve i will take the curve like this so that uh, this is not uh, any standard curve say so i will take x as a cos t and let i take y as a, okay this is a, a, already some random curve there yes this is also okay but i will take uh, something like uh, t if you take t what happens okay the path will become like this okay plus 1 by take like this okay no i don't want that t plus 1 then okay that's enough uh, you'll observe uh, now uh, here is a curve the curve going is like this okay so let i take at the so initially you will see the acceleration at this point the acceleration is towards origin now not this is the acceleration remains towards origin at every time so it it is changing you will observe when you see the animation you will observe now still uh, see the acceleration is not towards origin it is just parallel to x axis okay it is uh, because at this point at this point this is r bar this is r bar this is position vector position vector of that particle and this is velocity vector v bar along tangent and this is the acceleration vector so for random path the acceleration not necessarily the same it is a uh, it it may change its direction at any place so in this case let me see what happens the acceleration yes now it is flipped flip the direction so first of all it is uh, towards negative axis and later on it becomes to, uh, towards positive x axis okay from negative axis then positive axis that way what all these things is, is that clear uh sir so okay. can you please explain once again sir uh, how acceleration is i didn't get that point sir. acceleration doesn't have a fixed direction so you should not con uh, you should not confuse that only one thing i want to tell you that the acceleration does not have a fixed direction it depends on a path when we have different path like a circular path when we have a path as a circle the acceleration will act towards origin when we are moving on a hyperbola the acceleration is away from origin for a random path 
the acceleration may be different at a different point. It depends on the time t. If t changes, the direction of acceleration changes there. Okay, so don't go in the detail, not required at all. What is the important thing where you should focus only these two formulas? Only these two formulas that we require. So questions are really simple on this article. Uh, let me come to the uh, examples. So here is the first question. We are given a bar and b bar are constant vector and r bar is a bar sine hyperbolic t plus b bar cos hyperbolic t and prove that r bar is equal to d2 r bar by dt square. Can anyone interpret this result? What is the meaning of this result? That's the reason. Acceleration. Acceleration? dv by dt. No, not correct. I am asking interpretation. What is the meaning of r bar is equal to d2 r bar by dt square? I am asking that. So just we completed that part. Actually, whatever the position vector we are given, this is the position vector is related to the hyperbolic curve. And we are going to prove this. The acceleration have the same direction of r bar. Okay, acceleration and r bar have the same direction. The acceleration acts along r bar. Or position vector and the acceleration vectors are equal. That we are going to prove it here. So proof is a very simple. It is a simple differentiation formula you should know. So in a solution, we can start with a given. Yes, given r bar is a bar sine hyperbolic t plus b bar cos hyperbolic t. Now, velocity vector will become dr bar by dt. Now, if we have to differentiate this, both are the function of, uh, so, so a bar is a constant vector. So, we can keep constant as it is into the derivative of sine hyperbolic t with respect to t is cos hyperbolic t. Cos and t. Yes, good. And derivative of cos hyperbolic t? Sin sin h t. Yes, h t. Sin h t. And both derivatives are positive. This is the only thing you should know. Then acceleration a bar is a dv bar by dt and this is a a bar sin ht plus b bar cos ht and you will observe this gives us acceleration a bar is r bar and that is the proof that we want only this is only we have to prove it r bar is equal to a bar so interpretation if the question is there interpret the result you should say the acceleration acts along the radial direction or along the position vector. The acceleration is along the position vector only. It is away from origin. Away from origin. If any doubt is there, yeah, you can ask. And once you finish, tell me. We'll move to the next question then. Yes, sir, done. Okay, nice. Sir, 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 one second, sir. Okay, yeah, I'll wait it. No, no issue. Sir, what about the negative signs? Uh, okay, 251. Remember, negative sign appear in circular function only. Derivative of cos t is a minus sin t. But in hyperbolic function, derivative of these functions are positive. Uh, if you want, yes, you can just Google or uh, Google for a derivative of hyperbolic function uh, or you can see a small video on YouTube also. You will get it. It is very simple uh, or otherwise you simply remember the formula. Derivative of sine hyperbolic t is a plus cos hyperbolic t and derivative of cos hyperbolic t is plus sine hyperbolic That is a new set of formulae you should remember. Done. So one second just okay 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 no 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 issue <coughs> done sir okay done sir good so done, question, sir. question number two then so here the question is find the angle between the tangents to the curve r bar at the point t equal to plus sine minus 1. 
So you should go step by step in the question. Uh, the first thing we require a tangent vector to the curve. It is written tangent to the curve. So let me find out tangent vector to the curve. What is the tangent vector? Tell me. Dr by dt. Yes, correct. So we can say tangent t bar is a dr bar by dt. This is the vector. So let me difference it. So derivative of t square is a 2t plus derivative of 2t is a 2 and derivative of minus t cube is a 3t square. So this one is our tangent vector at any time t. This is a general tangent vector. Remember, you should know the meaning of what you are doing. The first thing you get a tangent vector at any time t. But in the question it is written we should want the tangent at t equal to 1 and minus 1 and then we want the angle between them. So let me denote let me denote a bar a bar is a tangent at t is equal to 1. So let me replace the value of uh, t as 1 in capital T bar. Okay, that is a tangent vector. So we'll get 2i plus 2j minus 3k. So this is the tangent vector at t is equal to 1. Similarly, we want tangent at t is equal to minus 1. What will be the answer? Minus 2i. Okay. Plus 2j. Good. Minus 3k. Okay. Minus 3. Good. Yes, you are correct. Good. Now the last step is left. See what we done. First we calculate tangent at any time t. Then we calculate tangent at t is equal to 1. Okay, this one. And lastly, now we, we are going to find the angle between them. Therefore, how to get angle between the two vectors? Dot product. Dot product. Uh, yes, what is the formula? Cos theta is equal to a dot v is equal to a, a dot v dot b bar upon modulus a a b a to b very good so a bar dot b bar upon a b and that formula is like a one b one plus a two b two plus a three b three upon magnitude of a and magnitude of b let me take a one b one so a one b one is a two into minus two plus a two b two that is two into two plus a3 b3 which is minus 3 into minus 3 divided by divided by the magnitude of a is the square root of a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square so it is 4 plus 4 plus 9 and similar magnitude of b is 4 plus 4 plus 9 and we got the required answer then cos theta becomes cos theta will become 9 by 17 is that and we get theta as a cos inverse of 9 by 17. That's the final answer. No need to write in the degree or radian. Keep this as answer. Okay. This is the angle between the tangents to the curve at t is equal to 1 and minus 1. If anyone have a doubt, you can ask. If you complete, tell me. So done. Done? Okay. Done. Very good. So we'll move to the next done. question then. Done, sir. So question number three is here. A particle moves on a curve. Can anyone tell me what is the position vector here? Position vector of that moving particle? 2t square i. Okay. Uh, uh, 
प्लस टी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर टी जे वेरी गुड प्लस थ्री टी माइनस फाइव करेक्ट सो सी द क्वेश्चन इन द क्वेश्चन पोजीशन वेक्टर आर बार इज नॉट गिवन डायरेक्टली इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट वे आर गिवन दैट वैल्यूज ऑफ दिस एक्स वाई एंड जेड सो यू नो दिस एक्स आई प्लस वाई जे प्लस जेड के इज द पोजिशन वैक्टर Now you can replace the values of x, y, and z. So we get 2t square i plus uh, t square minus 4t z plus 3t minus 5u k. This one is about the position vector r bar, and the question is find the component of velocity and acceleration at t equal to 1 along this direction. So what should be calculated first? velocity we should calculate Tangent. the general velocity vector v bar okay which is dr by correct and what is the answer 4t i is 2t minus 4 correct very good very good so this is the velocity vector at any time t also we can calculate acceleration vector first at any time t which is dv bar by dt for i correct plus 2j okay now what is one mistake that few of the students do here they replace t equal to 1 in velocity vector and then difference it then acceleration comes as a zero because uh, you cannot difference it first you calculate velocity and acceleration at any time t and what happens in this case acceleration vector already is independent of t so when you differentiate acceleration vector you will get a zero there zero vector but now next step we want this velocity and acceleration at t is equal to 1 so we can say at t is equal to 1 at a time t is equal to 1 v bar is equal to yes what is the velocity vector when t is 1 4i 4i Minus two j. Correct. Plus three k. And what about acceleration vector at t is equal to one? Same for i plus two j. Because it is a constant vector. As it is a constant vector, it doesn't depend on a t. So it become a constant here. So for this particular random path, the acceleration have the constant direction. That direction is along four i plus two j. So that acceleration is fixed there in that in, in this particular path, but that have some random direction four i plus two z there that one. Now the last thing, what is the last thing we left? We want we want the component of this velocity and acceleration vector along that direction, along that direction. So let me assume that direction, let direction is v bar, which is i minus three z plus two k. now let me uh, or uh, tell me the formula for component of velocity along v bar component of velocity along vector v bar yes what is the formula v dot v v dot v upon v upon v correct good so this is a formula uh, which is known as component of v bar or projection of v bar or magnitude of v bar along v bar so three words can be there component of v bar projection of v bar or magnitude of v bar along v bar so it is v dot v upon v so if you take dot product now v1 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 is 4 into 1 is 4 v2 v2 minus 2 into 3 is plus 6 and v3 v3 is a Uh, that is a uh, 3 into 2 again plus 6 divided by magnitude of b that is 1 plus 9 plus 4 1 plus 9 plus 4 the answer you we will get here as 16 by root 14 so 16 by root 14 is a component of v bar along v bar so exactly same way we can find out the last part which is a component component of acceleration a bar along v bar and the formula is similar it's a v uh, sorry a bar dot b bar upon b so to take a dot b 
now uh, a1 b1 is a 4 a2 b2 is a minus 6 a3 b3 is a 0 because here is a 0 k divided by already we calculated that is a root 14 there and that is a minus 2 by root 14 is the answer if you have a doubt yes you can ask no sir Any doubt then? Or, or uh, no. I complete it? Maybe. No, sir. Pardon? One minute, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Okay. So two minutes. Okay, no issue. 